Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of January 16 to January 22nd, 2023. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Virgo, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Virgo in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. We also have here the King of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Death card, the Star in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, and the Empress upright. Some of you have two options because we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups here. And I feel like you're the empress. So some of you might have to make a decision between two people. Or you might also have to make a decision about in regards to being alone, being with someone or being alone. Okay, King of Cups, High Priestess, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords. Hold on, let me see if I can pick up on your energy specifically. Hmm. This does feel like your energy, actually, this King of Cups. It does feel like you. It does feel like you're kind of keeping quiet with the king of king of cups and the high priestess you're keeping quiet about your feelings you're being very guarded here you're feeling the need to guard yourself with the nine of wands i feel like you're dealing with this king of wands actually What's this, um, what's the energy this King of Wands is projecting, Spirit, please? Let me just put this over here. Oh, card of Virgo, there it is. Nine of Swords, Six of Swords, the Magician, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Oh, okay. What is this King of uh, Wands, uh, what is their energy that they're projecting? You feel like you can't get through to this person, Virgo. You feel like you can't get through to them. They won't let you in. They won't let you in. Hmm. You know they care about you, though. You do know that. 
Yeah, I feel like you know that your intuition is telling you that with the high priestess here. I feel like your intuition is telling you that this person does have feelings for you. But the way they're acting, I feel like they might be acting very cold and detached or just distant. You know? But you know that under that appearance, underneath the surface of that appearance that they're giving off, you know they have feelings for you. I feel like you want to get through to them, but you feel like it's really hard to get through to them. What is it that you want to get through to them about? Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Swords. Yeah, what is it that Virgo wants to get through to this person about spirit? want that uh, you you want to commit to this person like you have good intentions with this person okay i think that's what you want to get through to this person that that you're genuine you know that you're sincere that you have good intentions that you're someone who they can trust but you feel like the way they're acting with you they they're acting with they're acting like they don't trust you you know, like they don't trust you, like they don't trust this relationship with you. And I feel like you're trying to get through to them that they can trust you. That you're not someone who's going to play games with them or deceive them. Or, you know, abandon them. I feel like you want this person to let you in because I feel like you want to invest in this person. But you feel like this person is not optimistic about you you or about the potential of this relationship you feel like they're they you feel like they have a negative outlook on this relationship and i feel like you wish you could change to that you know you wish you could change that outlook that they have but you can't, it's not under your control. And I feel like it's very disappointing with the star in reverse. It's very disappointing and it's very discouraging because you do have feelings for this person, like genuine feelings for this person. And it's, it's just sad that they can't see it, you know? It's sad that they can't appreciate it. So some of you feel forced to have to let go, you know, with the death card of this person, of this relationship or connection you have with them. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm going to move on. Let's go to your person and see what their energy is for the week. Yeah, it's like they want to be the tough guy they or like they want to give off that appearance of being the tough guy or the tough tough girl um male or female and i feel like you're telling this person like listen you don't have to be tough with me you don't have to act tough with me you can be yourself with me um, because i'm not someone who's going to take advantage of you you know um, you can be honest with me. You can be transparent. You can, you know, be yourself. Um, and I'm not going to abuse that power or that knowledge. Mm -hmm. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Virgo is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit.
Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I just basically read your person on your side of the reading. For the um, from the looks of it here. Yeah, Four of Swords, the Moon, Emperor in Reverse, the Star, the Four of Cups, Page of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay. So in regards to your persons, uh, th those aren't my dogs, by the way, Virgo. This, those are the neighbors, if you can hear them. Sorry about that noise. So in regards to the energy of your person, Virgo, whoever you're dealing with in love for this week, Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Temperance card. Oh, look at that. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you see they, ha they have trust issues. Seven of Swords. Two of Pentacles in reverse. King Queen of Wands, that's them. Queen of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Yeah. They definitely have very strong, strong trust issues here. And it feels like a very self-defeating energy here. Someone who is very self-defeating. Someone who self-defeats themselves. You know? Like self-destructs. Hmm. Uh, someone who's playing the victim here with the four of cups playing the victim um, they're very confused they're very um, unclear about what they want about their feelings I don't know what actually what are they confused about with the moon card spirit let me ask What's emotionally challenging this person's spirit with the moon and the four of cups? Three of swords in reverse, five of wands in reverse, and the four of wands. This does feel like someone who does want a relationship here, Virgo. But they haven't healed here from some sort of... They're stuck in the past. Some sort of conflict or argument or issue or challenge that happened in the past... They haven't been able to heal from that. They're stuck on whatever whatever went wrong in the past, basically. Yeah, whatever went wrong in the past, that's what they're stuck on. They're not allowing themselves to heal and to, you know, forgive and to let go and to move on. I feel like I'm getting a sense of guilt, though. I will say that with this Four of Cups, there's some sort of guilty energy here. I feel like this person is feeling guilty about decisions that they made in the past. But at the same time, it's they're in this energy of, well, I can't change what I did. You know, I did what I did and it's done. It's it's over. And, you know. But at the same time, it's not over because it's affecting their present and affecting their future. You know? So it's like they're, they're saying that, you know, whatever happened in the past, it's, it's done, it's over. You know, I did what I did, or I said what I said, or, or you did what you did, or you did what you said, Virgo.
because I feel like they're looking also at you as as if you also did something, you know, that that was hurtful or you also said something that was hurtful. The same way that they're looking at themselves like they also, you know, were imperfect. They also did things that they're not happy that they did or said things that they're not happy that they said or they, you know, they don't feel proud about. But, uh, but I feel like they're in this energy of, oh, well, you know, it's, it's already done, so it can't be changed. So, so it's, it's in the past. But they're not leaving it in the past they're, because they're still carrying it. They're still, they're still carrying it. They're still, it's still affecting their present and it's still affecting their future. So they really haven't made peace with it, you know? They haven't fully made peace with it. And that's really what the big issue is here. Yeah. That's that's the core of it all. That's the center of it all. Hmm. So what is this person planning on doing though? Cuz I don't I feel like this person is a little bit up in the air. I don't feel like they've chosen a specific direction here to to go on moving forward. Cuz it kind of feels like they're walking away with the 8 of cups. But it kind of feels like they're not walking away at the same time. You know, with the Four of Cups. I feel like they're thinking about walking away, but I, I feel like they haven't been able to actually follow through with that. I feel like there is something keeping them still connected to you, you know? And what and, and what is that, Spirit? What's... What's keeping them connected to Virgo? Yeah, you see, this is what I said, the hangman. Look at the hangman showing up with the two of wands in reverse and the high priestess in reverse. They're having a hard time connecting to their intuition. They feel like they're at a crossroads. They just don't feel confident in making in making a final decision right now in regards to walking away from you. But I feel like they kind of are walking away from you. I just don't feel like it's 100% though. I feel like there's a little part of them that is still that is still with you, that is still connecting to you. I just don't know why though. You know, I feel like um This is a lot of water energy, actually. Both of these cards are Pisces, High Priestess and the Hangman. So it's almost like there's mystery, you know? Pisces is an energy of mystery. Oh, we also have the moon, which can represent mystery. So I feel like a part of this person is still curious, you know, about what could be between what what could happen between you and them you know that's what's keeping them connected to you cuz i feel like they're in this energy of well what if this could work out you know between me and virgo
What if there is still potential? It's like there is this unknown energy that's keeping them with you because they don't, they can't say with complete certainty that things wouldn't work out between you two with the four of wands, you know? Despite whatever issues and troubles and conflicts have happened between you two, it's like they still can't say with complete confidence that they're over you, you know, that they're completely over you and that this relationship has has no way of working out, you know? I feel like a part of them feels that way. They feel like there's no solution, but I feel like another part of them feels like, well, maybe I'm wrong. It's like they're second guessing themselves. Maybe I'm wrong about this relationship and its potential. Maybe, maybe, maybe things can turn around. So I feel like they're still hanging on here just to see if if there's any change but i don't feel like this person is initiating change so it's like they're waiting for change or they're waiting to see if change if if a change happens in this relationship but at the same time they're not initiating change so I'm not sure how that's going to work out I guess they're waiting to see from you. They're waiting to see something from you, but I already feel like you've already done everything because you showed up as the King of Cups and I don't know, some other card I can't remember. But I know that you, in your energy, I do feel like you, you already gave your most to this person, you know? So it doesn't really make sense to, to see what they're waiting for. Yeah, what is this person waiting for, Spirit? I don't think anything's going to come out, but let's see. Woo, look at that, Two of Cups. They're waiting to see if this, if, if, if the magic comes back in this relationship. Because this looks like a magic energy. It's almost like they're waiting to see if the magic comes back, comes back alive. If the emotions come back. Virgo, this person's unrealistic. They're, they're just unrealistic, to be completely honest. I, I just don't see how things can change if you don't put any work or effort towards creating those changes it's not going to happen on its own you know it's not it's not like a, a movie it's not a it's not a fairy tale you know so i feel like this person is just waiting for things to happen on their own and it's just not doesn't work that way You know what it is too? I think this person had had a certain vision of you and them. And I feel like that vision didn't work out exactly to their, you know, specific um that it didn't work out to how they specifically were envisioning it, envisioning it. And I feel like they're still waiting to see if their vision comes true, you know. Except that their vision is unrealistic because they they feel like a, a perfect relationship is gonna happen without them doing any work, and it's just a, it doesn't work that way, you know. So I don't I I feel like this person doesn't want to put any work with the four of cups, and I feel like you've already done everything you can do. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to continue now in the extended reading, Virgo. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. We'll see if anything changes, okay? All right, thank you so much for watching.
Um, if you're interested in the extended, link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.